From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings, LA, with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022 and CR for stimulus, with the House Democrats minutes ago saying we need to do another body of economic relief. Boy, here we go. They have heard you. It's breaking tonight only on LA. Over a week ago, this channel delivered the importance of doing another economic bill other than the Build Back Better Act, and we propose CR for stimulus that would get a stimulus check in the continuing resolution budget bill that has a deadline of February. Well, guess what the House Democrats said today? They said the Build Back Better Act will happen, but we can't wait for it. We need other economic relief going out the door for the midterm elections. And now they're signaling not one, but multiple possibilities of stimulus relief and other economic packages. It's brand new tonight, and it's what we advocated for, and it's going to the finish line. All those incredible details in tonight's recording. But turning first to that incredible Build Back Better Act that still will pass in the House of Representatives, and I have all the incredible checks across the board. We'll be looking at the Build Back Better Act that passed in the House of Representatives in the month of November last year, and will pass still in the Senate. Each of those checks will be analyzed in today's video. Then we'll go over the big money in those recon checks with the addition of an MSC. Joe Biden wants his money to go out right now, but tonight, the House Democrats want economic relief to go out wide as well. Student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that heating up in tonight's video. And also what's going on with this stimulus and why the president can do it by executive order. But the messaging of this channel has been heard. The messaging of Americans has been heard. As the House Democrats say, we need an economic relief and we need that economic relief to go out before the midterm elections. In addition, I repeat, in addition to the, to the Build Back Better Act, boy, it's a lot happening tonight and it's exactly what we advocated for. We're gonna go over all the incredible details, not one, but many bodies of legislation tonight's recording, and it starts right now. And here we go. The House of Representatives has passed the recon in the month of November 2021 and is now in the Senate. The Senate changes to that incredible Build Back Better Act will be robust. I'll go over each of those incredible checks that amount to at least $60,000 on top of the existing $15,000 and third stimulus will be repaid with that $45,000 plus the lays on student loan debt forgiveness and fifth stimulus that can go by executive order. I'll have all that analysis in tonight's recording. But I told you there was major breaking news today, and that major breaking news is the House Democrats. The House Democrats say in the face of Omicron, in the face of growing inflation, and in the face of the economic relief that Americans need, they want a new economic plan to be passed to give you economic relief stimulus. Boy, it's great news. It's exactly what CR for stimulus is about. And it's all coming in tonight's recording. You have almost made history once again. We have all these incredible details in tonight's recording. But first, I want you to go to this video and subscribe. You're watching LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. Coming up next is Evenings Countdown, then Home Street and Stimulus, and Evenings Extra. We have a lot of recordings across the board tonight before we go into overnight's LA at 9 o'clock. And with that, let's go over every, all these incredible checks of this Build Back Better Act that still will go over the finish line. We're going to look at them. Three clusters of checks and three add-ons. Are you ready? Here we go. There's at least $15,000 of checks in this Build Back Better Act. Before we add MSC and those other provisions, let's look at each of them starting right now. Hazard Pay got in there for one more year for my earned income tax credit recipients. $4,000 of air care, $4,000 to care for young children. The CTC, $3,600 got in there as well. The $550 check for the Pell Grant recipients and the $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Wow. Home repairs got in there as well. Incredible. That is just the first of three clusters. Let's go now to the first add-on of checks. And that first add-on of checks came from 
the illustrious Maxine Waters here in Southern California. She wants to give you money to buy your first home. Whoa. She got it in there, a little bit less than $25,000 for the first time home buyer, the money given to the seller in your name by the federal government at the time of escrow. Let's go to the second cluster checks, home repairs and paid leave. There's a lot of money, folks. Home repairs this time is to weatherize your home and paid leave is a lot of money. This is if you're sick due to illness or a family member is sick in your household. How much does it pay? A lot. It pays $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. If you make $35,000 or more per year, that's $800 a week. And if you make $15,000 or more per year, it's $400 a week. How many weeks? Four to six weeks per year. So yeah, that is five to $6,000. W2 1099, you all qualify for it. Now, if you don't work, but your son or daughter does work, they're going to get the check as well if they have to stay home from work to take you to the doctor's office. Wow, that's incredible. Which then brings us to the second add-on of checks. It comes with incredible buy. Bob Casey, $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. He got it in there. Ready for the third cluster of checks? I think you are. In the Build Back Better Act's third cluster of checks, we find free internet. Money for the farmers, the independent contractors, school meals, free school meals for all checks. And the seniors, two provisions on the House, three coming from the Senate. On the House side, they got in there the Medicaid gap fix and then the incredible uh, incredible hearing, but the senators vow to add three other provisions, and they are dental vision and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, which is par for the course of what we're talking about when we talk about the third add-on of checks. You know what it is. If you're in the live chat right now, write the three letters. You know what those three letters are as the third add-on of checks. They are MSC. We're going to go over what MSC is right now, who gets it, how much, what are the equations, and what is that breaking news tonight that impacts your stimulus across the board? Wow. MSC refers to monthly or multiple IRS stimulus checks. We use the word MSC because it differentiates from the remainder of the Build Back Better Act that has multiple checks in there, upwards of $60,000. Now, these are set out from IRS to you. So who gets it? Well, since the month of May of last year, the legislators have represented that the eligibility would be the same as a third stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 or less annual income, you would get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less annual income, you get it as well. Double it. Family of four, you get it additionally. Quadruple. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, you get it as well. It is not income. It's not taxable. It's offered across the country, not state by state. And it's also given to adult dependents. So then how much is it? $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months, says the legislators to viewers of this channel, since the month of May. Then it brings to the question, how do they get it done? Where does it land? And what is the implication of CR for stimulus and the breaking news tonight? Oh boy, you have never seen a recording like this in several months maybe over two years, because tonight the push of CR for stimulus is heating up in less than one week of it relaunching in 2022. Let's go over where the Build Back Better Act is right now. The Build Back Better Act, the force was recalled, also called the Social Spending Bill, was passed in the House in November. It's in the Senate. The Senators have not done the Senate bill yet. They would first put it to a subcommittee. They have not. They make modifications, adding provisions to the recon written by the House Democrats, adding, not just subtracting, and then calling for a vote on the House, on the Senate floor. Then off to the two-day voterama in the Senate. Senators like Sanders, Warren, Wyden, and Schumer all say they have a lot of provisions to add to this recon, but they've not done that yet, which is why over a week ago, approximately about nine days ago, I brought onto this channel a familiar expression, CR for stimulus, and I asked viewers, do you want to do it again? And they said yes. Now, if you're a new viewer to this channel, let me explain what it is, the history I made the history the Purple Power made, and the implications of CR for Stimulus 2022. But also stay with me in this recording. See, at the very end, we have a lot of checks. Because tonight, you're going to hear that the House members are ready with their version of CR for Stimulus. Oh, boy. It's heating up. It is. So CR for Stimulus was developed by me in December of 2020. Let's go over what was happening at the time. We had first stimulus passed in spring of 2020. 
Then we are waiting for the next stimulus package called Second Stimulus. In spring of 2020, the negotiators were Nancy Pelosi on behalf of the Democrats, Steve Mnuchin, then Treasury Secretary, on behalf of the Republicans. Negotiations started in the spring, no deal. Then summer, then fall, then winter. By winter, still no deal. A familiar situation was going on. Months of negotiations, no deal. No inherent deadline, no rushing, no, uh, no deadline to meet or follow. So I thought to myself, I need to figure out, is there a way to get money to the American people by using something different than this proposed second stimulus package, which was a package. It was thousands and thousands of pages long. I was looking for something smaller that had a deadline that they couldn't miss the deadline. And I found it. A continuing resolution, CR, that has a lot of different names. It's a budget bill that's done every few months in Congress to fund the federal government. The reason why it has an inherent deadline is because they got to get it done. It's to fund the federal government, the national parks, the federal buildings. They may miss it by a day or a week, but they don't miss it by several months because the federal government would default. So they get it done. So I thought to myself, why not put a stimulus check in this continuing resolution and use that deadline in our benefit to get it done? I prepared my advocacy. I prepared what I was going to say on, on camera. And I also prepared for the naysayers because I was ready for what they're about to say. And I made the first recording in December 2020. I said, hey, it's LA again in December 2020. I said, we waited... 11 months for Steve and Nancy to get the second stimulus package done. It's not done. It's thousands of pages long. It's very large. And number three, you need money right now. They don't have an inherent deadline. What if we gave Americans a deadline by putting a check into another body of legislation? Not the second stimulus package, but another body of legislation. Here it is. It's called a continuing resolution. Its deadline at the time was December 2020. I said, let's put a check in there. And if they get that done, which they have to, the government's not going to default, the check goes out and you get it in December or January of next year. Viewers love the idea. I say, go on social media and tag and run the hashtag campaign, hashtag CR for stimulus. If you're on the live chat right now, post that hashtag. Viewers did. They loved it at the time because it's a way to get money out with an inherent deadline and without a behemoth of a massive package of thousands of pages of length. Immediately, the naysayers were ready for me, as they always are. <laughs> they said, it doesn't belong in there, Ally Light. This is a ridiculous idea. You can't put a stimulus check in a continuing resolution because a continuing resolution is to fund the federal government. It's money for the federal government. It's not money for the American people. I said, I know. You're right. It doesn't belong in there. That's why it works. Since the beginning of time, Congress has often put money into legislation that doesn't belong in there. During the pandemic, they were doing this day in, day out. They had a COVID relief bill where they're sending money to foreign governments. There, were, there was a COVID relief bill to build a new FBI building. There was a COVID relief bill to fund money to the Department of Copyrights. Why not have a COVID relief bill that sends out a check to us? And so we pushed. One morning we woke up and the legislature said, we're putting a stimulus in the CR. We thought we had won until we looked and realized it was unemployment stimulus. Uh, not what we asked for. <laughs> so we pushed back again. And then suddenly it got in there. The stimulus check that millions of Americans got in December 2020 was my idea. It came through the continuing resolution. The check was delivered because it was part of the continuing resolution of December 2020. And it landed in your wallet of $600 at the time. Ironically, the second stimulus package never became law. There never was going to be and never was a second stimulus check because it never happened. This was the check you got because of this recording. Now, over a week ago, I said, why not bring it back on air? And viewers love the idea. But the breaking news tonight, and yes, it's a biggie, is that Congress is now saying much the same. In new comments coming out of the House of Representatives tonight, the Democrats now say, we love the recon, the Build Back Better Act, the social spending plan. We love it, but we need to get an easier, breezier economic package passed, ASAP, for the American people before that and for the midterm elections. Told you, there we go. It's about as obvious as obvious as it's on the wall. And tonight, they have not one, but one, two, three, four different options of bills 
that they are looking at to potentially get that economic relief out the door to alleviate the economic pressure that's ensuing right now because of inflation, interest rate spikes, Omicron and more. I told you it was going to work, but we aren't over the finish line yet. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over those four options that those House Democrats are now talking about. It's brand new. It just happened. It just came off across the airwaves in just the last few minutes. Then we're going to look back at what are the options the president has to get additional sums of money out to you. I have new comments, which I alluded to on afternoon's LA, uh, on uh, Noontime Ally today about what Bernie Sanders is doing. Is he hurting the recon even further than he heard it earlier this week? I'll go over his latest comments as well. But the exciting great news is that the House Democrats now understand an economic relief package that helps you needs to get done before the midterm elections. In addition to the forced stimulus recon social spending Build Back Better Act, which one will it be? We're going to find out after the commercial break. At 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now as we go into the second half of evenings at LA Late starting right now. The incredible great news is that the House Democrats now signal that the Build Back Better Act will pass, but we need another economic program to be passed in Congress as well. That's in addition to the Senate changes to the Build Back Better Act covered in the second half of this video. The big programs across this recon that pays you at least 15,000 and upwards of 60,000 with third sums repeating across the board. The latest on student loan debt forgiveness and why the President of the United States can do fist stimulus by executive order for a lot of it. Those details and more, plus the breaking news about what's going on with Bernie and the Build Back Better Act. Boy, we got a big second half of this video. I told you CR for Stimulus would heat up, and those details are coming up in just a second, but first go under this video and subscribe. You're watching LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, that made history in December 2020 by advocating for inclusion of a stimulus check in the CR. I came up with the idea, it became a reality. Guess what we're doing right again? Using another body of legislation other than the Build Back Better Act. I have all those incredible details, but first I want you to subscribe, like the video, 2,000 likes, and consider becoming a member to get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday that features the big money available right today from Third Stimulus. Covered on the show coming up later tonight, we have a continuation of a lot of shows tonight. Evenings Extra at 8 o'clock, Home Street and Stimulus at 7 o'clock, and of course, Evenings countdown at six with evenings at five. And with tonight, there's a lot going on and I'm gonna slow it down because it may be confusing for a lot of people because suddenly we're focusing on not one, but multiple pieces of legislation at the same time. Okay, here where we are. We, when we talk about the four stimulus package are usually talking about the Build Back Better Act. The social spending plan it has a lot of different names, but it's the BBB, the Build Back Better Act. Well. 
it was over a week ago on this channel I said why not get a check out to the American people with using another body of legislation not getting rid of the BBB but using another economic piece of legislation the concept on this channel at the time was to put it into the looming deadline bill of February 2022 called the incredible government funding deadline bill the continuing resolution it's just around the corner it has to be done by february and why not get one check in there and then keep doing build back better act on the sideline but do this first and get that money out to you well we pushed you pushed i said you need to make very clear people need help and they are now hearing you democrats in the house tonight in a breaking news report are now saying that they must must pass an economic relief package that is separate from the build back better act before the midterm elections and they must do it right away this is huge this is huge and it's the same mindset of cr for stimulus the mindset of cr for stimulus is that build back better act has a lot of great stuff in there for dental and vision and social programs but when we're talking about economic relief your wallet not necessarily your hearing or your vision but your wallet you need that economic relief solidified and alleviated during this pandemic and house democrats now say you do and what are they doing so california representative pete agrilar vice president of the democratic caucus in new statement today says that the democrats in the house are looking to do an economic recovery package that needs to be done before the midterm elections and separate and apart from the build back better act we do have our eye on the economic recovery there will be absolutely there will be absolutely pieces and i say that again pieces plural of legislation that we have discussed that will continue to alleviate supply chain issues and tamp down inflationary pressures now what I want to go over first is what, and then I'm going to go over the how. First, the what. They want to do economic relief, which is you, which is not social relief. Social relief is your vision, your schooling, your nutrition. They want to do economic relief, which is exactly what we covered on this channel. Then, the how. A little bit more complicated. So the how is they're saying, we're not just doing Build Back Better Act. We're going to do something else in addition to it. That's what we've been advocating for CR for stimulus. So what are their opportunities they're looking at right now? I'm going to show you the three opportunities that they're looking at potentially to do economic relief in. One, they're looking to potentially, the House members, do a bill by the end of this week. Yeah, you heard me right. A bill by the end of this week that would be a huge policy bill. Number two, they're looking at the government funding bill. Number three, they're also looking at the Russia-Ukraine sanctions bill, which is currently in the Senate. These are all very different bodies of legislation, but they understand they can get economic relief into something else and not call it economic relief. Now, what I want you to make very clear to you, because this is where it gets a little confusing, I want to make it very simple, is that a lot of these things have strange names to them. So I don't want you to get confused and think that's not our money, because that's what's the issue. For example, let me give you an example. When they're talking about doing a bill brand new this week in the House, they are saying an economic relief bill, parenthesis, dealing with China, dealing with this. Don't get confused and say, oh, it's a deal with China. It's not our money. They're just talking about a lot of things at the same time. That one would include manufacturing, uh, deal with competitors of China. It would also deal with supply chain and inflationary pressures. The theme is much the same that you need assistance in the middle of this pandemic and they want to alleviate that assistance wow so let's recap where we are house democrats for the first time in this channel's history of 2022 are now hearing the messaging of the viewership of this channel that the build back better act has taken too long it's very it's too big and that we need other economic relief packages passed by the house not negating the BBB, but economic relief packages done and out of the House into the Senate ASAP or taking existing bills that are being worked on in the House and Senate and adding the economic relief in there. It may be the social spending. It may be the uh, the budget bill, the CR, the continuing resolution of February. It may be the Russian sanctions bill and may be also this brand new economic bill in the House to this week. I don't even want to give it a name because it doesn't even have a name right at the moment. 
That's how they're approaching the situation. Wow. Now, let's look out at what else the President of the United States should do as well. And because messaging appears to be working on this channel, I want to stay on message with you as well. There's a lot of stuff to advocate for, but the more you blow up this channel, the more you share the videos, tag your elected officials, make those phone calls, the more they will get the message as well. There is multiple opportunities this president can do, and we're going to go over the first one right now, which the president of the United States should do tomorrow. There are government agencies that are federal government agencies, and under the charter agreement which established, they determine how they are do things. They want to do it with the letter T, they can do it with the letter T. They want to do it with the letter I, they can do it with the letter the I. It's as simple as that. Well, the President of the United States can also pick up the phone and say, I like doing it with the double letter W. Okay, I'll do it with the letter W. What's at issue? Your money, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, or SSA. The President of the United States can pick up the phone and call the Social Security Administration tomorrow and say, you know what? You're paying people's benefits based upon COLA. I don't want you to use that benchmark anymore. Starting next month, I want you to use new benchmark inflation. Does not require an act of Congress. Does not require a bill. Does not need require a recon. We do not have to wait for fifth stimulus to do this by fifth stimulus recon and take 12 months on that. Presidents can make a phone call and give them a push because ultimately that agency can determine the guidelines of how they want to do it. How much money would this give you per month? Additional, about 2 to 3% more per month starting right now. COLA is a benchmark that's been around for many years. It determines how much you pay, you're pay, you paid in benefits. But COLA generally doesn't move anywhere. So that's why year after year, your benefits stay the same. This last December came in 5.9%. The reason why it's higher is because inflation was higher. But I've been telling you for months, going into December 2021, you want this stimulus to become a law because inflation will be much higher than COLA. You will get a lot more money than inflation than COLA with inflation. I was predicting inflation would come in at 8% in December 2020. One, Federal Reserve was saying 1% to 2%. Wall Street was saying 2 to 3%. Everyone was saying it's temporary. I said, no, I think it's going to be 8%. Well, Department of Labor delivered the number two weeks ago. 7.5% December 2021 is your inflation rate. So right now, until we get to the end of this month, the current inflation rate is 7.5%. If the president switches or gets Social Security Administration to switch your benefits checks to inflation, not COLA, you'll go from 5.9% add-on to a 7.5% add-on overnight. That's about 2 to 3% more than you're getting right now. Very simple. The president of the United States has done this before. Joe Biden did this in October 2020. When he picked up the phone and spoke to Department of Agriculture, said, you know what? You're paying SNAP based upon very old standards. I want you to pay more for SNAP starting right now. No act of Congress, no executive order, just a phone call. These are just phone calls, folks. And they had an authority. The Department of Agriculture had the authority to change how they do guidelines because that's the way they're established under the Constitution. And they changed the guidelines and suddenly people started getting paid 25% more lifetime starting last October for SNAP. All right, that is something Joe Biden can do right today, in addition to everything else that's been covered in this video. He can do another thing right today as well. He can repurpose money and send it out to you. First, we're going to go over what repurposing money is. Second, what repurposing money is not. And then, where is the repurpose money right now? What is repurposing money? It is when money is in a government agency for a program that has expired, the program no longer needs the funds, but there's extra leftover funds. The president can reach out to that agency, say, repurpose the money and send it out for a different purpose. This is an agency other than the Department of Treasury. Now, here are examples. First, this is perhaps the best example. FEMA. You know about FEMA. Tornado hits. FEMA comes out and helps you. Does FEMA ever help you with unemployment assistance? Of course not. They help with tornadoes and fires and hurricanes. Well, during the start of the pandemic, FEMA was given fortunes of money for COVID relief, for programs. The programs ran out. FEMA had extra money. So Donald Trump, then president, reached out to FEMA and said, you have extra money, FEMA. Your programs have run out. I have a problem. Millions of Americans need extra boost weeks of unemployment. Currently called FPUC. FPUC is ending. I don't think I can get Congress to extend FPUC. I don't want to deal with Congress. I want you to just repurpose your money. You have extra sitting around for unemployment boost. And we're going to call it LWA. It will function like FPUC, but it'll be LWA, and the states will reach out to you to get the money. 
And then happened. FEMA money that would normally be for a natural disaster suddenly became unemployment boost money. It could happen, and all it required was a phone call. No executive order whatsoever. President Donald Trump had another opportunity, and the opportunity, I think, really cost him the elections, and I advocated very vigorously for him to do it. He didn't get the messaging. He had $550 billion sitting at SBA, the Small Business Administration, going into fall 2020. The number was confirmed by Larry Kudlow, his staff, Steve Mnuchin. $550 billion for stimulus, for businesses, for business programs. That work ended, but the money was still there. All he had to do was pick up the phone, contact SBA's head, Javier Carranza, say, repurpose that money for the American people this way. And he didn't. And I think it cost him the election. It was a very simple concept. So Joe Biden can do the same thing right now. The question is, where is the money and how much of the money is there? I have a lot of viewers who love to do research. And if you can find that money, send me a private message on social media. I had one viewer who sent me a beautiful message overnight. I've not been able to go through it right now. She or he found some money that has been reported that is in programs that have now uh, ended. So I'm going to deliver that message on air tomorrow. Very exciting. And that is how we, you... And now the House Democrats, breaking news tonight, are thinking outside the box to try to get money out other than just the Four Symbols Recon money. Now let's turn to the Four Symbols Recon itself with what has really been going on with Bernie Sanders. Uh, it, it, I don't want to hit a dead horse with the situation, but it started two weeks ago. It ramped up last week. It continued two days ago. Then it continued yesterday. And tonight, it's worse. And I don't know what's going on. The Four Stimulus Recon requires every single Democratic senator to vote in favor of the recon or it doesn't pass. So you need moderate Democrats, you need progressive Democrats. Well, we had a problem with this two weeks ago when we, when we heard on this channel that the President's Chief of Staff, Ron Klain, spelled K-L-A-I-N, was really not doing an equal pairing of both moderate and, and progressive Democrats. He was going after Joe Manchin in press releases out of the White House on White House stationery on a regular basis, and then cuddling with Pramila Jollibal, head of the Progressive Caucus in the House, day in, day out for hours. I said, this is not a good look. We need to stop that. That was, day, that was the first issue. Then came Bernie with really one of the strangest things I've ever seen Bernie Sanders do. He said that the moderate Democrats' provision of, of, in the recon had been removed during negotiations this last week. There was no negotiation. The provision wasn't removed. And the fact that he said that was very peculiar, made it even worse. He then went after the provision. He said it helps rich people, hurts poor people, hurts working Americans. Untrue, untrue, untrue. In fact, he was then called out by Bob Menendez, who's a fellow Democrat, saying, Bernie, you said this provision is needed and that anything other than this provision wasn't needed, what would be bad. So why are you flip-flopping on the situation? That was then. Then came Pramila Jollipal, head of the Progressive Caucus, two days ago. And she said, you know what? We have a March 1st deadline to get the recon voted on. Where, Pramila? You're in the House. It's now in the Senate. Uh, Nancy Pelosi called out the remarks as fictitious. Why is a House member telling anyone what Chuck Schumer is going to do in the Senate? She's not Chuck Schumer. Only Chuck Schumer determines what's going on in the Senate for purpose of voting. So it, it was looking weird. <laughs> I'll be very polite here. It was looking weird as of yesterday. Today, it's looking, uh, it's looking drunk. <laughs> it's just looking drunk at this point. What's happening now? So... Now, there are new reports that Democrats have been looking at all these bodies of legislation and these things that they got to do. And here's a quote from Elizabeth Warren, Democrat of Massachusetts, who, by the way, is progressive. She says, we need to get work done right now. We've got Build Back Better still hanging in the balance. We want to work with all 50 Democrats and get something passed now. Good. That's the way you want to hear people talk. All of us need to work together. Yet... <laughs> <laughs> yet, comma, however, comma, but, okay, here comes the bad news, yet, Bernie Sanders, independent Vermont, <laughs> on Monday, said he is going after Centennium and Mansion, and he's actually trying to get new Democratic primary challenges to go after them in their home states. Oh, uh, Bernie, can we just, 
could someone just buy him a Big Mac? Can someone just buy him, a, you know, a filet of fish or some uh, chicken McNuggets? Because this is just, uh, what is going on here? Every day it's worse than the day before. And when asked whether what he's doing is a bad idea, his reaction, Bernie Sanders, is, was the following quote. I'm, this is not a paraphrase. This is the quote. They're big boys and big girls. Oh. Yeah, they are big boys and they're big girls. <laughs> I, I guess that's a compliment. I guess he's saying they're of adult age. But uh, that doesn't mean you go after them. <laughs> it's just, you know, what's going on here? Uh, then he said, it's not my job to tell Arizona or West Virginia what to do, but people in those states need new leadership and are prepared to support them. Okay, so he's basically throwing them under the bus. <laughs> he's basically saying, uh, choose other people as your, as your candidates for those states. Mm. Uh, does that work well for the Bill Back Better Act? It doesn't. And uh, as I said, I don't want to beat a dead horse, uh, but boy, it, it's coming every single day a little bit more ramped up than the day before. Um, and asked about Sanders going after Kristen Sinema and Joe Manchin in the Democratic primaries in their home states. Um, other Democrats were asked about it. And here is Brian Schatz, who's out of Hawaii. He's a Democrat. When asked whether he would do it, he says, it's a free country. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Guess what? It's a free country. It's a free Southern California as well. Southern California is free, and I wouldn't recommend it either. I don't know what is going on with Bernie. Uh, you know that Snickers commercial from the Super Bowl? You are, he hasn't been acting right. He needs Snickers. Here's a Snickers, Bernie. Uh, <laughs> then we have Representative John Corrin, who's a Republican out of Texas, who says that um, Senator Manchin says Senator Sinema have been pretty reliable votes for President Biden's nominee. I don't think that um, this is going to change the message on any other body of legislation. So basically is that um, the, the, the progressives are getting really ramped up and no one understands why. The great news, you know what it is. The great news is that when we look at CR for stimulus, when we look at economic relief coming from the House as a different body of legislation, when we're talking about that House bill potentially going for a vote by the end of this week that would potentially get money out to the American people, when we talk about uh, a Russia sanctions bill that could always have money added into there across the board, it doesn't involve any of this type of stuff. It doesn't involve any of these progressive versus modern Democrat stuff. It, that All that has to stop, folks. It really has to stop. I'm very happy for Pete Aguilar. And please go on social media and tag him. Again, his name is spelled A-G-U-I-L-A-R. He's vice president of the Democratic caucus. And uh, he's a California representative. And tell him, we need money in this. Re we need money in whatever body of legislation you sent out of the House. Notice how I pause there. Yeah, it, it, it looks it looks a little disjointed, but I want you to understand, it's free willy. You use a new bill, you use, uh, the, you use the continuing resolution, you can do a lot of different things. So I don't want us to be boxed into only one thing, but we're certainly pushing for continuing resolution. We're also pushing for any other economic relief bill passed out of the House that would signal us across the board. And with that, let me go over really a lot of other things that are coming in tonight that are important to understand. Normally at this time of the recording, I would go over every single check in this for someone's recon. I'll be covering that tonight in the other evening to LA shows, but tonight I want to go over something more important, which is where is this economy tonight? This economy tonight is really in its most disjointed, uneased, and unsettled state that it has been in nearly a year. And this is why Pete Aguilar, House Democrats, myself, and a lot of people are saying, this is why you need to start thinking outside the box and get other economic relief in. It started last Friday when the consumer sentiment number was relief. Shows millions of Americans are unhappy with the economy because they think they are not making any more money. Their salaries have been raised, but not enough. And that consumer goods are going up faster than across the board. That's number one. Number two. Uh, it's been months since the last recon uh, was passed and people got a relief. Number three, the support from the Federal Reserve is now gone. This Federal Reserve is supporting this economy by buying mortgage-backed securities. And number five, the Federal Reserve is coming in less than 30 days from now and in raising your interest rates a quarter basis point. 
So if you have any type of debt, whether it's credit card, student loan, or anything that you pay on interest, you'll be paying more in less than 30 days. We're not done there yet. Then there's indications that the Federal Reserve may not be doing one or two interest rate spikes this year, but upwards of five. Five quarter base basis points means two to three percent more on the interest you pay on things by the end of this year. That is a big whammo. Number five, number six, corporate earnings are coming in, and as I predicted 24 hours ago, they're not particularly that good. PayPal fell nearly 30% today, its stock, on bad earnings reports. This is as a lot of guidance is getting detangled. Finally, the Russia and Ukraine situation is far from over and may continue for upwards of one to two months, with Russia being called out at the UN National Security Council meeting this, last, this week with 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukrainian border and some at the northern leg near Belarus being asked, why are they there? Uh, they're just shopping. <laughs> they're shopping for what? They're, they're, they're searching uh, for rabbits. <laughs> Where do you think you are, Ellen Fudd? Yeah, they're just, they're just, we're hunting rabbits. <laughs> UN Security Council didn't buy it. They say, why are they there? They're just not there. They're just, they're just going for a little stroll in the park. Uh, into the woods we go. What is this, like a musical off of Broadway? Into the woods we go, we go. Get them out of there. This is causing strain on the gas prices. A new report today shows inflationary numbers and shows that gasoline is the biggest component of inflation right now. Gasoline year-to-date is now up, I can't remember that, I think it was 40%. It's astronomical. Cheap gas, cheap. <laughs> the cheapest gas here in Southern California is $5 a gallon. For the cheapest and the cheapest station and the cheapest anything, $5 a gallon. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. That is that. Used car prices, new car prices up 40%. And that's before we get down to your items like milk and eggs, which are up 6 9% year to date. We have that new economic data came in today. This is as Omicron continues to spread, it's not going away, and it's causing its own inflationary uh, concerns. So you see how many bad economic events are happening at the same time? Fed, Fed interest rates, uh, Omicron, Russia, and, and, and consumer sentiment, all really problematic across the board. That is why thinking out of the box works. That's why I'm very, very excited for the great news for you tonight, that House Democrats now understand that seats for stimulus is really at issue. What is seats for stimulus looking like as of tonight? Whichever political party, House, Senate, Democrat, or Republican addresses economic relief the best, they're going to win Congress. Now, addressing it means not just complain about with a solution is what they have to do. What is the solution to get economic relief to the American people? Not saying, here's the bad situation, and then putting your hands and folding it is going to work. You actually have to have a solution to the economic problem. And if you remember back during the Bill Clinton campaign uh, days, when he ran for his very first time in office, it, expression was, it's the economy, S-T-U-P-I-D. It said, don't focus on anything else unless you focus on the economy. That is where we are right tonight. And the good news is that people are coming in on focus as well. Join me across the board with more shows, more shows coming up tonight with Evenings Out Light, continuing with Extra, Home Street and Stimulus, and Evenings Extra. But let me first jump into getting you some money right tonight. It is Third Stimulus, which has been really one of the big success stories across the board. Third Stimulus is still paying out money to millions of Americans for rent, utilities, mortgages, and more. And I go over all those big sums of money and how you can get thousands of dollars right today. I told you to stay at the very end of this video because I have that money for you right now. I want you to get rent, utilities, mortgages, and food, and more of it right today, even if you got before. We're going to start first with the rent. There's a lot of money. These were the amount of monies for rent back in October. Now it's grown to $40,000. Where do you get six places? You ready? City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, and City House Authority. And the key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Six places you must reach out to. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, and State House Authority. Three places, you, three things you must do. You must get multiple rounds. You must get applications on file everywhere. And you must reach out to all six places. Utility assistance because of COVID. Get it. Mark's brother in law got 15000 Then SNAP. Get it. Mark's brother in law is getting $25,000 a year over 10 years. It's $250,000. Then get combo items. 
three items or more. Started Nisi and Art Sullivan. Get it. Marcus at two items at thirty-two thousand. Now he's at they went to fifth three items at fifty thousand. Now he's over a hundred thousand dollars with more items. Lorraine, she's at one twenty. To learn about all these incredible sums of money, where you get them, how you get them, the nonprofits become a member. The link is under the video. And tonight at seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time, the latest membership newsletter goes out. With the latest round, you want to get that round of rent, utilities, mortgage assistance as far out as possible. Search for May as your look for May as your goal. Can't get May, then bring it into April. Bring it in tighter if you can't go out. Then lean on the nonprofits. They're featured in the newsletter, six of them. They help from everything from rent to a broken window or nominal home repairs, even a space heater. They have new rounds of money because it's a new year across the board. And with that, I'm excited you've been with me. And the excitement continues all throughout the night with evenings countdown at 6 o'clock. Then home streaming stimulus at 7, continuing into evenings extra at 8 o'clock. Then evenings overnight, uh, LA overnight starts at 9, 10, and 11.30 before we're back tomorrow morning at sunrise at 3 and 3.30. Stay informed, stay focused, stay, pay, stay on point. Advocate across the board because there are so many issues still at issue with big money still at play. And stay with LA for more as tonight's evening continues.